Let's get into the next topic. It's a big one in the community right now. They've nerfed traps. They have gone out, well, nerfed and buffed. The nerf is the big one. It is damage change from 125 down to 75, but they have set the reset time uh, decreased it down, you know, to only five seconds for the reset. I think that's a minor refresh. That, that second stat doesn't matter at all. Like, that is going to come into play in, like, it's 5% small. of, yeah. But in theory, uh, you know, it helps somebody out there occasionally. But here's the, <laughs> here's the big deal. You know, if you're green bar, you're full health at the start, and you got a trap, somebody's chasing you with a shotgun and tilted, you can't really trick them into a trap and survive, right? I mean... Steven, what's your first reaction? Do you rely on traps in the first place much? Well, one of the most fun aspects of landing in a crazy place, like, is you land, you find a trap, you don't find a gun, you hear a guy behind you with a gun, you place a trap somewhere, bait him in, and you get a kill. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's very frustrating for the other player, which yeah. is why I feel like they made this change. But 75 damage, you can't kill anyone off the bat. Traps are basically useless off the bat. I kind of wish they reduced it from 125 to 100. Uh, 75 seems a little too much. I, I think that's what's interesting, though, is reducing it from 125 to 100. Like, that just assumes you got a mini. Um, then maybe you survive. Yeah. Uh, but, which is something. You're right. Mm -hmm. But I think you're right. They're trying to address the fact that, dude, like, I'm just running it. Maybe my sound quality is not great. Maybe I'm on mobile. Who knows? And I'm not excusing it. But it is kind of a cheap kill in some ways. It's not really when you when you're smart about it. Like in some cases, you're right. Yeah, no, I agree. Good. There's two different. But th that is the side of it. People are getting frustrated that they're getting caught in traps. But I can say yeah. personally, my first reaction was sort of like, oh, cool, you know, like because I I don't get tons of trap kills. It's not like every match, right? Mm -hmm. But on the other side, um, I can see it can be frustrating for those who've kind of mastered the trap. But um, I mean, James, you play a ton of PUBG these days. Mm -hmm. I know you've played, you know, obviously your fair share of Fortnite. But sure. from uh, call it a more distant perspective, like, do you do you care about that type of? Change? I, I think I played enough Fortnite to know that when you get a trap kill, you feel really cool. Yeah. Um, and I think that there there are a ton of ninja kills where he'll fly down on yeah. somebody, build a fort. I there like that is so something cool. that will go viral. Uh, Thanos got killed by a trap. They yeah. build a you just build a little like one by one yep. trap yeah. house. Trap somebody, uh, and it's a really cool shareable moment. Now they're making it harder. And I think those are gone, uh, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because you have to basically weigh, okay, well, it's viral, it's fun, it's shareable. Um, it makes the person who's doing it feel cool, but how does that compare to how bad it makes the person who's getting killed feel? <laughs> yep. And, like, is this a good gameplay experience? <laughs> what tools do we have in the game to be able to deal with traps and detect them? Um, mm -hmm. I, I feel like they could have done... Other things before they went to nerfing the stats, an example would be having the traps make a noise. Like while, like when you plant a ceiling trap or, or anything, a spike trap, maybe it's just making some kind of ominous like clicking. You mean a persistent? Yes. Because it does like, what like, you say. Like a persistent yeah. noise. That would be nice. Like, like a, in the way like the chests a, make a noise. Yeah. yeah. I, think, nice. I think that would have been a better change. I would have liked to see them experiment in that area mm. to affect, because this is totally a player behavior thing. This is not a, oh my God, traps are OP and everybody's winning with traps. This is a people feel bad about traps. So I think the way to address that is simply by tuning the perception of traps and the ability to identify and deal with them as opposed to just going straight for the, the stat. But hey, here we are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think we need to play it out. I can say that I, I wasn't somebody that I got caught in traps and was like, I was upset because it ruined, especially in squads and duos and stuff, like yeah. it really ruins your flow, like, you know, because um, it takes you down so fast. But it wasn't bothering me, but I can definitely see if you were skilled with it. And I, th I think it falls into that category of the people who were good and are most vocal were really hearing from those folks because they really spent time with it. Um, but if you look at the other side, the unheard, yeah, there's probably just a lot of people who are like, oh, I can't believe I got caught in a trap. Okay, I got to reload. And they're sure. looking at that data. You know, if you watch our expert mode with James, uh, check out facebook.com slash IGN expert mode. We have a Fortnite episode up there. Eric we, Williamson. Yeah, we Zionly. talk about this uh, with Eric of how do you address stuff in the community? And actually, they're very persistent. If you've seen, they're like, if the community is loud and talking about it, we really have to address that. So if that's how we feel, sure. just get it out there. I have a feeling they'll totally change it back or whatever. But I have a feeling they're looking at data, and it's like, we really should nerf the trap. They, they also could have reduced the spawn. There's so many other levers that they could have pulled, I think, in the interim before jumping to this thing that essentially kills it as a device that players are going to be interested in picking up and using, especially in a context where you have as limited uh, inventory size as you do in Fortnite. You know, you can't, you, the slots really count, especially towards the end of the game. Uh, but to your point, I guess they're probably primarily used at the beginning of the game. Still, I feel like they could have nerfed the spawn rate, may have them had some persistent sound. I feel like there's other things they could have done. 
Thanks again, everyone, for watching. If you'd like to support the show, follow us wherever you are. Don't miss last week's episode. Be sure to set your notifications on youtube.com slash Royale Rundown. I'm Fran Mirabella, and I'll see you next time.